we are at uh, HTML to liquid.com. So I'm going to show you how you can use this, what settings to use, um, what the custom settings mean, what the CSS prefix means, and randomizing classes and the section name. Now, this is still very new. It's very beta, beta-esque in, in a sense. Um, so first off, all you do is you paste your HTML code in here. And what will happen is this will basically loop through your file looking for certain things and automatically detect the, um, you know, the settings needed in order to create a section. So we'll just call this um, image with text and uh, use hyphens. Uh, don't use spaces. Um, I don't have anything in place right, uh, to check for that just yet, but we'll, we'll get to that. Click Convert. And right below, you'll notice that your settings have been created. Now, there are some issues with images. You'll have to adjust that. Um, you know, this is being this is a free tool, and I'm working on this in my free time. But right now, it's just outputting images like this. Uh, I need to find a solution for images. Um, now, what happens is if it detects an image, it will label it with one, image one. Uh, same with headings. Same with rich text areas as well. Um, we are, we're also picking up various style classes. Currently, the ones that you see are the ones that, are, that, that work. Um, you may find that there are some, some options that, that work um, as well. Uh, we haven't really tested um, the, all of the uh, CSS uh, attributes just yet, but overall, it seems to be working well. Um, now, you can also uh, prefix. So I'll just do test hyphen. If you want to prefix your CSS classes, you'll see this. And all of your CSS classes will update as well, um, all of them every single one. Now, if you want to randomize, you can specify how long you want them, to, the, the random classes to be. Um, we added this option in because we noticed when we're creating custom options for some themes and, you know, they will say we're using a class, certain classes in, interfere with other ones, so we gave the option to randomize. And of course, if you, you know, lower it, it will randomize it very minimally, you know, uh, so you can do it like that. Now, pay attention to the heading, uh, this, this area right here. So what we're doing is we're allowing you to use attributes to define your settings that you want generated. So I'm saying I want a type of select. I want a label that says some cool label. I want an ID of heading underscore text. And I want the options. Now, this, these options will only work with select. Um, and then you also have to specify your default value. So we click Convert one more time. And you'll notice that. Um, where to go? Oh, uh, you know what? That actually didn't work. Oh, right. You have to toggle custom settings. My mistake. Apologies for that. So click convert, and you'll notice that this changed just now. And up here, it also changed, and it gave you those options. Uh, I hope this helps. I hope it speeds up your development time. And um, if you have any questions or how to use this, you'll find this video that I'm recording here. You just click on this, a little window will pop up explaining how to use this, this tool. Um, keep in mind, this is free. It's still in development. And um, I'm actively you know, working on it in my spare time. Um, there'll be some contact information on here somewhere at some point. But for now, this is what you see is what you get. Um, it is mobile responsive. You can use it on your, on your mobile device if you, if you want to do that. I don't see why you'd want to do that. Um, and then uh, when you're done, you guys can click this copy button, or you can download your file just like so. Thanks for watching.